Hello everyone. Before I start this video, a quick mention of a fundraiser brought to my attention by Bogdan on Patreon. This is for the 82nd Brigade and with a group called Deep Inspire Foundation for a Navara pickup. The campaign has stalled since August and Bogdan has kindly said he's going to donate whatever else is needed after my call out here. So big thanks to Bogdan and everyone who donates. Now onto the video. Hello everyone. Now here is quite an interesting video. Some big losses in this clip after a failed Russian assault south of Marinka. The Russian column you can see here consists of multiple armoured vehicles. We can see tanks, a demining vehicle and a number of infantry fighting vehicles. Ukrainian drones, artillery and landmines soon made short work of this little incursion. We've seen quite a few videos in recent weeks of large scale attempted Russian attacks which absolutely failed. This being the latest one of them. So for this geolocation, I'm going to highlight on a map a few of the locations seen in the video. I'm just going to put a few key ones on to avoid the map being too cluttered, but they all occurred pretty much around the same place and along the same road. So the attack came from the east heading west along the tree line which you can see here. Included on this map are the geolocated strikes on a T-72 tank, a second T-72B, a BMP-2 and an unknown tank up at the top. Now, the T-72 highlighted in yellow, there's a lot of burning to the ground around it, so something else was hit before this went up, but the camera doesn't show what. The T-72B marked in blue, in the same video, you can see a couple of other knocked out armoured vehicles here. They could be from the same assault, or they could be a few days older. The BMP-2, highlighted in reddish-orange, is an interesting one. This started to turn south on the video, just off the road, and as soon as it did, it hit a mine. The purple tank, we can't see exactly which type of tank it is. I've included it as this geolocation confirms that the attack route came from the east and then branched up north here rather than continuing east. So it gives us a bit more insight as to how this battle went. This is just a small selection of the geolocated vehicles but they all took place along this road here and you can see how cluttered the map is already. Zoomed out we can see that this assault was targeting a settlement called Nova Mikhail Lifka. I'm not familiar with this settlement, so let's go to trusty old deep states. So this assault was spotted and malleted roughly around the blue box. So right on the front lines. Nova Mikhail Lifka, Ukrainian controlled. As we saw in the video, this was a pretty big attack force consisting of multiple vehicles. Likely an attempt to establish control, if not over the town itself then established control over strong positions nearby to prepare for a larger assault on the settlement. Instead, the Russians were given a good bonk on the nose by Ukraine's 79th Brigade. This is it zoomed out, south of Marinka on the eastern front. Now, it's unknown exactly how many vehicles were destroyed here, but at least two tanks, possibly three, plus more armoured vehicles such as BMPs. So pretty big failure here by Russia and a pretty big success for Ukraine. This is usually the part of the video where I go through the numbers on Oryx and the types of vehicles in more detail. But as I mentioned in a video yesterday, I have been having a bit of hand and finger pain lately. So I'm going to stop writing the script here and cut this one short unfortunately. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.